Folks, we're at the Milburn Price Culture Museum in Vega, Texas. And if they'll let us film inside, we'll do it. That's Old so printing cool. press. You want to do your own? Sure, sure. <laughs> Why not? Here. We'll Here we go. Set up too. Look, see how she puts it down in there? Yeah. yeah. Put it down in there. Like wow. that. Okay. And then, all right, and now same thing, just turn it that way. It's going to go down and put ink on the letters, and then it will come back up. How oh, cool. And actually stamp the card. That's Keep me. Keep turning. Keep turning. You'll see how, yeah, they how it rolls on there. Ah. Uh, how old is this machine? It is about 126 years old. Oh wow. my gosh. Look at that. Thank, thank you. you. Thank You're you. You're welcome. That's so cool. That's neat. Yeah, it's a windmill. Yeah, it's a windmill. Yeah. That's neat. Pieces of pottery. You guys can see that. The light's kind of glaring on that. Oh, that one. You didn't notice that? No. Well, I didn't notice the little one by itself. Oh, yeah. So the big one. I don't like snakes. That's beautiful. A dollhouse that was built on the swivel. The gentleman built the dollhouse and the table. Look at that. Look at the detail, man. Oh, to be a little girl, to have something like this. When I was little, I would love to have one of these. The little people. The little desk, girl top desk. Little, oh my gosh, the dining room. Oh, that's amazing. It's fun. It is fun. I got a blue resist all cowboy hat from the 1950s here. It is in great condition. It's beautiful. I've got some. World War One relics here, guns and a German helmet. I guess it's a Model T. She thought it was a Model T, so it must be. I think that's still in working condition. How neat. Got a set of eyeballs on the front of it. Headlight testing machine here. And this used to be an old hardware store. It's a much bigger building than it looks from the outside. Look at the old saddles. Here's some yellow cucumber pickles from 1976 and some pickled beets. Some dill pickles from 1971. I don't think I'd want to eat those now. The old irons. There's an old Route 66 shield. Old ironing machine. I guess that's what that is, our pressing machine. Here's a barbed wire collection. They say barbed wire helped tame the West. Kept your cattle from running off. You got a big old rattle there from a rattler. Rattlesnake, I should say. Some old school desks. And old typewriters. And I've heard that old typewriters are becoming highly collectible now. Seems like everything I throw away becomes collectible. A seed cleaner. Yeah, I got an old cradle here. Some old cameras. <laughs> an old makeup chair or makeup desk, huh? Needle point. I'm shocked. This place had a lot of interesting stuff in it. I never expected to see this in Vega. 
It's only been open for seven years, and they've got a, a whole bunch of stuff, man. Yeah, they do. They even have a cowboy. So if you're a single lady, <laughs> he's waiting here for you. Got a bunch of die-cast cars. And we've heard they have some things out here, so we're gonna check it out. Wow, that's a mural, huh? We've got a Indian trader trading with an Indian there. Some horses. That's neat. Okay, this is the world's largest branding iron. That thing's huge. I wouldn't want them to use that on me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you is it real it, steel? It is, isn't it? Yeah. But if yeah, it you is. brand something, it's going to be backwards. C-T-I-X is how it would look if you branded somebody. But look, it's X-I-T. X-I-T, okay. There we go. Sometimes I, I have to point things out to my lovely wife. <laughs> <laughs> It's that dyslexia kicking in. Yeah. I think it's Texas. Now, right over here, this mural done on the back side of their sign was actually painted by a local high school student. Yeah, she's a girl that's 17 years old. She's a senior this year. Let's see. What's... She's got a lot of talent. Dakota Walker. That was done this year. Wow. With a Vega High School rock next to it. Aww. That's pretty neat. It's very nice. Very nice. Equity Bar. Let's walk around the front and see their sign that they have here on the road. The Milburn Price Cultural Museum in Vega, Texas. And they've got a longhorn out front here with very realistic eyes. Wow. Big, he's big. So I'll tell you guys, I'll tell you folks, this Milburn Price Cultural Museum here in Vega, this is a highlight of, of the town of Vega. If you're in the area of Vega, I say this is a definite must stop. We're standing at the Cadillac Ranch just outside of Amarillo, Texas. Let's take a look at this art display. We will definitely leave our tag on one of these cars. They do allow you to spray paint the cars while you're here. <laughs> wow, look at the tires. <laughs> it's a lot of paint. Whenever there's a special event like Christmas or somebody's birthday, they'll bring a professional paint crew out here and they'll paint the cars like all pink for breast cancer or um, different events. And then within 24 hours, people start spraying all over the cars again and they look like this. But this is one of the highlights of Route 66, folks. And we brought ourselves a couple cans of paint just for the event. All right, Janet's hard at work tagging this Cadillac. And while she's doing that, I'll tell you a little bit more about it. The Cadillac Ranch was built in 1974 by Mr. Stanley Marsh and an art group called the Ant Farm. Mr. Marsh is a very wealthy individual who financed the project. And their idea was to change the way that people thought about modern architecture. The Ant Farm is a group of artists that do all kinds of art installations. They've had other installations that they've done along with Mr. Marsh. They had one where they put up over 400 signs. They kind of look like stop signs or yield signs, but instead they were painted and had different 
sayings on them like the sun will shine today and they were placed all over the city of Amarillo now when they started this in 1974 they put 10 Cadillacs nose down at an angle into the dirt here and then in 1994 the city of Amarillo had expanded and took over a portion of the land where the Cadillac Ranch sat so they moved the Cadillac Ranch a short distance down the road to a piece of land that was on I guess unincorporated land now sits on a uh, large farming field here and the Cadillacs date from 1947 to 1964 I believe it may be 67 but they're all old model Cadillacs as you can see and it's really a neat display you can see it from I-40 which is out here in the distance but this has become a must stop for travelers here and we've been out here four or five times as we were driving through truck driving it's always fun this is when we came by here yesterday coming into town there had to be i'm not joking there, there had to be 80 people out here it was ridiculous how many people were out here just having fun and spray painting these cars but you can see on the tires they have so much paint on them so many layers of paint that the wheels around the tires now stick out about a foot away from the tires themselves and in some places you can see like on this first one I'll go back over here and show you this first one the paint in the heat and drips from the paint have made it look like the car is melting where the paint is just sliding off of the cars Now years ago when we come out here there was hardly anybody that would actually walk out here to see the cars because they had cows and bulls out here and a lot of people were afraid of them but you can see how the paint just looks like it's melting off the car there were rumors for years that an eccentric millionaire would take and every time he purchased a new Cadillac he would bury one of them nose down here as a memorial to the car that had treated him so well but in actuality it is an art installation we'll come over here back over here and see how Janet's doing on her artistic work and you can paint anything on there that you want but it's probably only going to last for about 24 hours because somebody else is going to come along behind you and paint over it There she is, yeah. waiting for the first coats to dry. Yeah. Got paint on me already. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Mm -hmm. It's part of the fun. Yeah. See. I don't know. I know I can put the run. Let's see what she's gonna put on this piece of artwork that she's doing. I'm gonna get out of the overspray, or else I'm gonna end up with my blue shirt being white I know what she's putting on there I got to spray the bottom again <laughs> Ah, people will be able to see it further away. She's gonna end up looking like, uh, what's that uh, dinosaur? Barney. Ah. Purple. Strange RV Tours.
Looks good. <laughs> Looks like Picasso. 2021. There you go. All right, guys, I backed up here so you can see a better shot of all the vehicles, see all of them here. And uh, this is it, Cadillac Ranch. All right, guys, we've left our mark here, so we're going to head on out. We'll walk around the back side of the vehicle so you can see a, one more view of them. Yeah. my paint. Share it. Mm -hmm. ah, somebody for putting some love locks on the cars, huh? Yeah. Love locks. That's an idea. Not much to attach them to anymore. There's a little way up there. Yeah. There's several. That's neat. Yeah, couples will come out here and put a lock. They'll put their names on the locks, like John loves Jenny, and they'll attach them to the cars as a sign of their everlasting love. Then years later, they can come back and see their lock again. They're yeah. not, not gonna see their names on them though. <laughs> yeah. Before we leave. Before we leave here, guys, this is the gate going to the Cadillac Ranch. It's right out here in the field. But I wanted to show you, people just go crazy with spray paint. You give somebody a spray can, this is what happens. Look at this over here. This is the roadway coming into the Cadillac Ranch. And it is tagged as far as you can see. <laughs> Part of the art installation, I guess. Strange RV tours will take you places With Greg and Janet's smiling faces You might see a crazy flavored soda review Or some tips to fit your RV too So come along, won't you join us, friend? As we discover what's around the bend Just sit right back in your easy chair Strange RV Tours is on the air Strange RV Tours is on the air